Whoa! <laughs> Thank you, Hans. So, I'm Nathanael Behafto. Typically, my name is too long to remember, so call me Nati. I'm one of the many scientists that inhabited this amazing space that we've moved in. And I've recently moved from the United States here in the Netherlands. And as I moved, I decided to embrace the biking culture and give up car ownership. And in my mind, this was a triple win, right? On one end, I was getting the exercise I needed and I was not doing. Second is a great money saver, right? You are basically not spending money on, on your fuel and to buy a car. Third, and most importantly, this is indeed a sustainable choice. And it teaches you one key example about sustainability. We often think sustainability as a trade-off, right? We need to give up something. But the reality is, if you play it right, it's a win-win situation. At I, and, and I'm excited, right, to come on a daily basis at IFF because this is clearly a company that cares for sustainability. We use the businesses and the people we have to do more good, and in fact, we have a plan that we call the Do More Good Plan. Now, the Health and Biosciences Division that we are here today celebrating is a key enabler of that sustainability vision of the IFF company. And sustainability is in the name, right? Bioscience and the technology that we use is intrinsically safe and sustainable. Fermentation is sustainable. The products that we make, you heard about the enzymes, are intrinsically sustainable. Now, the even more exciting piece is that our products enable the sustainability of our customers. And I've said this term sustainability too many times, right? And it's kind of a fuzzy word, so it's nice to actually go a bit more in detail and tell what sustainability means. Sometimes we think about CO2 avoidance, right? So the, um, reducing you know, um, and increasing renewable carbon. Other times, we want to save water. Sometimes we talk about elements like phosphorus that we want to really optimize the use of. And other times we talk about microplastic, and all these elements touch sustainability. Now, the products, you know, you, you hear clearly that we have huge excitement about enzymes, right? Our enzymes have been a breakthrough technology, for example, in brewing. We are able to significantly reduce the water and energy usage during fermentation. In home care, our enzymes have, again, you know, revolutionized the space by lowering the temperature at which we do our laundry and at which we uh, clean our dishes. In animal nutrition, our physate enzymes optimizes the use of phosphorus, a key element for uh, our life, and so the use and optimal use of this element is essential. And there is more, I will tell you also about bio bioplastic, but this will come later. Now I would like to focus a bit more about food waste, right? It's, it's, a, it's an essential element of sustainability. 30% of the arable land that we use and the food that we produce in that land is wasted. That food has embedded water. We, every year, we lose a quantity equal two times the amount of water contained in Lake Geneva. On top of that, food waste in a landfill becomes methane, exacerbating the, the problem that, that we have. What are the solutions? We often talk about packaging, but packaging comes also with its own challenges. We talk about the cold chain, but there is a lot of carbon embedded in the cold chain. So again, we need to expand the toolbox that we have. And our favorite product, enzymes, often come to help um, these challenges. We use enzymes in baking, and that enables the bread to be softer longer. And that means that the lifetime of our product is extended. Same for our cultured products. We can minimize growth of fungi and um, a microorganism, and again, extending the shelf life of, of products, right, of food products. Now, so far, I've been telling you about products that we have, right? Yet, our innovation, part of the innovation that we discussed previously, is the key element of how sustainability will look like 
in the future. Sharif was mentioning how we are inspired by nature. And personally, I'm extremely excited by biomimicry. I think that is an endless source of inspiration. Think about the protein uh, that a muscle uses to stick itself to a rock. That protein is highly functional. That protein is 100% bio-based. That protein is biodegradable. So how can we use this learning in our day-to-day -day work? The project I work with is called um, Engineer Polysaccharide. We have learned how to use sucrose, water, and our favorite biocatalyst, the enzyme, to create functional bio-based biodegradable polymers. These polymers are functional, and they will replace the petrol-based ingredients that we use in home care and personal care. We have also learned how to use this polymer to create a barrier layer on paper, to create a packaging that is 100% recyclable, bio-based and biodegradable. And again, I want to repeat the, the initial theme. Sustainability is not a trade-off. If we do it right, this is the win-win situation we can create. Last but not least, I want to tell you about this building, right? We are here to celebrate it. This building has won the BREAM Excellence Award. And the reason we did that is because we have, again, embedded sustainability in the design phase. We have reduced CO2 emission, we have solar panels, so we really care about the energy usage. Recyclability is also embedded in the building. All the waste that we generate in our lab is recycled, is treated, so that it's minimized. We also optimize resource usage. You will see that we have sensors so that the lights goes down. We have LED lighting, and the material of construction is really sustainable from, uh, from the get-go. Last but not least, we care about the environment that, is, that surrounds this building, the plants that you, you will see around, the flowers have been, you know, they are local and they attract uh, bees, right? We need to protect the bees because we need honey. <laughs> and transportation, you will see that we have, we encourage biking, and if you have an electric bike, you can charge it right here in the building. So I hope I have given you flavors of what sustainability means for IFF. It's in our process, is in our product, is in the building, but most importantly, we want to enable you, our customers, to be sustainable with us. Thank you.